New technology is changing the role of a career in the courtroom. This specific person plays a vital role in the justice system, but he or she is not an attorney, and it takes only a year of training to be proficient and ready to work. And while you may not even have heard of it, this career is one on the rise. THV 11's El Mose has more on the advancements of court reporting. Joining me this morning to talk about this growing career is Sarah Flynn with the American Real-Time Court Reporting Institute. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thanks for having me. So tell us a little bit about what court reporting is all about for people who haven't heard of this career before. Well, when you think of a typical court reporter, you're thinking mm -hmm. about someone in the courtroom. Mm -hmm. There are those court reporters, but they're actually freelance deposition reporters that go out from job to do job as well. Mm -hmm. And tell us about this new technology that you have because the, and compare it to the old court reporting position. The everybody thinks about the stenographer mm -hmm. and that profession takes about three to four years, forty mm -hmm. to fifty thousand dollars to learn mm -hmm. and it's very difficult to learn so there's a high dropout rate. Mm -hmm. And so for people who don't know what a stenographer is, that's kind of they take note of everything that's happening in the courtroom, right? Everything of ha that's happening okay. in the courtroom or the deposition, they are taking it down to produce a transcript. Okay. So what we do as voice writers, mm -hmm. with the advancement of computer speeds mm -hmm. and voice recognition software, we can actually yes, speak into our mask, mm -hmm. our silencer mask, and output in real time everything that's being said. Okay. So in essence, we repeat everything that's being said. Okay, so what's happening right here on the screen? This is, I am dictating into my voice silencer mm -hmm. and it is outputting it into a Q&A format transcript. Okay, and so it's all voice recognition? It's all voice recognition. Okay, that's very interesting. So no more typing. <laughs> that, it makes a huge difference. So yes. this definitely is a difference in skill ability. So is the, does this right. kind of open the, the door for more people to apply for this position? It does because you don't have to learn an entirely different language with this method. You can take the English language that you already know and mm -hmm. apply some code words in there and mm -hmm. get your real time output. So it takes about six months to a year compared to the two two to four years. Okay, and for is the there any method. other background education that you need before you can go to uh, your institute? An English background is really good, but all you need is a high school diploma. Okay, great. And tell us a little bit about this tool that you brought with you because it's a way for people to not interrupt during the courtroom when they are right. using voice recognition. Because when you're repeating everything that mm -hmm. people are saying, you do not want to be heard. Mm -hmm. You don't want them hearing you doing that. Mm -hmm. So we learn how to get our voice down. This has very, very powerful for microphones in it okay and and we learned that's part of the method of learning how to not be heard great and if anyone is interested in uh, taking on this new career career option how can they get involved they can go to my website at AmericanRealTime.org, mm -hmm. or they can give us a call okay great well thank you so much for coming in this morning thank you we for really having appreciate me appreciate it and it was very informative and great new technology out there thank you thanks